Okay, uh, it's time, so I'm uh, explaining about my session. Thank you for joining us about uh, my session. Today, I'd like to explain about how to investigate issues on Linux embedded system. Uh, overview of this session, target is embedded software engineers. And Linux kernel space and ARM64 and entry level. Uh, this session, like to, uh, my goal setting is to make investigation easier. Uh, okay, so this is uh, today's agenda. Safety instruction and something like that. So let's start. My name is Yoshihiro Shimoda. I'm an engineer uh, for 20 years. I started upstream de kernel development from 27. My inter interesting area is Ethernet or PCIe or USB, and DMA controller and IOMMU. Uh, today, this is the first time to speak, so I'm very nervous, but I will do my best. So, next. About the issue, when do we observe? Uh, I think some type, some case, we will happen. One is development of software for uh, evaluated evaluation board or customer's system. Uh, but if you are contributor to OSS, maybe you will get report from the community. Uh, uh, we will also have learned about uh, market defect, about so if, if this is a bad case, but anyway, we, observe, we will possible to get such issue. We, we observed. Next. What kind of issues we need to observe? Uh, this is this session. I the issue means uh, don't work as ex, uh, expected. For example, data corruption uh, freeze the system. Linux card doesn't boot. Or performance issue or probing uh, device driver. Failed. What was the transaction stopped? Or can you panic? And so on. In this case, uh, error message will be happened. Also, we cannot uh, any cannot see any error message. Uh, <coughs> next, how to resolve such issues? Uh, we can report such the issue to the o OSS community if you are using the OSS software. For example, in Linux kernel, the document is exists. So we can read the document and to, uh, we can report to the community. Uh, but in many cases, we have to investigate the issue by myself to find the root cause, I think. And Next is how to find the root cause. Uh, I think if you are observed, uh, we are observing the issues, we have to check why the issue happened. I think to find the root cause, we should make a hypothesis and validate. For example, if you connected a USB memory to an invalid board, but 
some uh, the slash dev slash sda file was not generated. In this case, we can make the pro these hypotheses. For one of these examples, uh, USB memory was broken. Or the board configuration, like a power or jumper pin or deep switch. Other hypothesis is a kernel coffee or kernel deleted version or something like that. Another case I can make hypothesis is a uh, config FS or debug FS or P protocol, something file system related things. To validate the hypothesis is uh, these things. Like if you, uh, you uh, we replace the USB memory, we can, we are possible to work that using a USB memory. Or also we can use another board whether the memory was really broken or not. Also, uh, about the configuration, board configuration, we can check, we have to check the board specification. About kernel config, uh, config related things, we have to check kernel config configurations. Or uh, if you are using a uh, old, uh, new, newest kernel version, we should check the old version, like a stable kernel. Also, uh, about uh, file system gate six, we have to check software document or source code directory. Okay, next is uh, investigation ways. Uh, in my case, I uh, will use these things about uh, investigation. Uh, major cases uh, use kernel hacking features like uh, Aricon. Uh, also, I will use in the core debug in the kernel parameter. Also, we, uh, I will use debug and, and F trace, something like that. Also, um, the kernel has KDB or path commands, so we can use it. Also, another approach, uh, we can add code for investigation to the source code directly, like uh, print K or trace print K. Or uh, I, um, to add, I add memory drawing function about uh, to investigate the issue, so some kind of timing issue, timing sensitive issues. Also, we can use out of three code, like DMA. Okay, next is, uh, I will uh, explain about these features. The first is uh, ignore log levels, Aricon and keep bootcon. The, the, these are uh, kernel parameters. So we can add uh, these parameters in the car. If you use your boot, we has to, uh, if you, uh, we add boot args into the, these parameters, we can uh, enable these features. So, if you are using platform support Aricon, we can 
enable kernel message area. Note that the key protocol uh, feature is uh, possible to print message double about uh, like bottom of the sample case. So if your system is uh, become stable, uh, we should drop the message. And we should drop the uh, keep root con parameter. Next is in the call debug. Uh, this is uh, also some kind of early development uh, feature. So if you add, we add this parameter, print all device drivers in the call to check whether your driver is call or not. This is some kind of useful feature, I think. Uh, next is uh, debug uh, feature. Uh, this can show print k can debug in the kernel code. Some drivers have such uh, print print code. So also another function. This is gate is uh, subsystem, but uh, dev debug or PR debug or net deep debug and so on. Uh, if we add define the debug in the your source code, we can enable the such device drivers debug print. This is useful to uh, the investigation the issue. Also if uh, you, you use uh, OSS software uh, uh, to report, uh, we should enable this feature. If friend report, yeah. Uh, next is mem test. This is a very low level feature. Uh, this is enabled and uh, this is, uh, this feature is a system memory test when booting the kernel. Uh, this is checked by CPU, so, and this feature detects uh, error this can reserve memory space to avoid using the kernel system. The next is uh, F-trace, uh, config function tracer. This is output trace message. This is also some driver support this feature. If we add trace event equal something like that, we can uh, show uh, specific uh, detailed error message into from the kernel. This is uh, this these message stored on the kernel memory. So this is. Uh, this is advantage than print k because embedded system is using the serial console, so it's basically very low performance, but storing memory is a uh, overhead is a low, so because, uh, so we can, <coughs> we can, use this to investigate the issue. But as, as this we shown in, 
for from example, uh, this is very a lot of information is stored. So this is also the reduced the performance. So if you use uh, if you uh, investigate performance issue, uh, you should disable this issue, this feature. Sorry. Uh, another feature is KDB. Uh, I realized this feature in this year, so I not I'm not familiar uh, this feature to be honest. But this is very powerful debugger to like uh, dump system memory and set the breakpoint and something like that. We can uh, refer the document in the internet. Also, uh, kernel has uh, this path command to investigate performance issues. Uh, for example, like, like Windows, uh, Path com com commands can be shows the kernel functions to uh, with the CPU load and uh, number of interrupts. This is useful for performance issue. Next is uh, adding print k into the kernel by my ourselves. Uh, this is a very simple uh, print uh, investigation way. So I like it. So I always add such print k or trace print k to investigate. But this is, uh, as you know, uh, as I mentioned before, uh, this is gated uh, CDR console performance. So it, this can be uh, outside side effect. So this is related uh, issue. Uh, to uh, for sensitive issues. I like this approach uh, to recording process point into the circular buffer. Uh, this is very uh, simple code. Uh, add some character to the circuit buffer. And uh, if you observe the some kind of situation, uh, the debug print K can output uh, specific debug uh, investigate uh, data. Uh, but this is very difficult. Uh, if you are adding such code into the, your buffer, uh, your driver, uh, Please be careful about uh, critical session. If this can, can be another issue, will be generated. So please log uh, the code you are driver. Uh, this is another uh, tool about uh, DMM. Also, it's my colleague, uh, Mori Mostan. Uh, this is very, I, I'm, I like this tool because it's very simple tool. Uh, this can be, uh, can read or write hardware registers. They are slash dev, slash dev, or slash mem. You can download the source code from GitLab, or uh, the GitLab. Okay, uh, from this section, 
Uh, I'd like to introduce some uh, case studies. Uh, okay, so first is issue is uh, on our SOC USB peripheral driver. Uh, if we use uh, USB HIV gadget driver, uh, this is in, uh, which is installed at second time, the driver cannot work correctly. Uh, for uh, this, the bottom case is a uh, actual example. Left side is a good case, but right side is a in, not no good case. And so this is related the uh, installing order. So I made the. Uh, hypothesis is the uh, initializing process is not enough on the second time. So to, uh, to validate, uh, I compared the following message between case, cases of good or not good. Uh, at first, added the define debug into the driver. Or show rather detailed parameters, uh, actual initialization to some kind of initializing function by print k. But uh, they seem the same. But adding such print k code, uh, but even if we, uh, I add, added uh, such print k, the issue is still happened. So this is, this means uh, the issue is uh, not related to the timing issue, just uh, initializing process things, created these issues. So we, uh, I add, Further, more detailed things about the uh, writing registers, offset, and data by print k. But I could not uh, find the root code. So, next is I checked about the uh, major hypothesis is uh, overlooking some hardware specification. So the, this is related to hardware, so I have to hardware specification again. After that, uh, uh, so validate is uh, checking the hardware specification, uh, which is related to uh, initialization about the uh, endpoints and pipes. The hardware has uh, uh, pipes like this, this, and these uh, hardware, uh, these pipes can be stored the uh, endpoint number. So about, I checked these things and I found uh, some specific related uh, the things like this. Set an endpoint number so that combination of the direction, direction, direction and, and the endpoint number bits do not overlap. So I check the debug message again. So next hypothesis is uh, setting endpoint numbers of each fiber overlaps. Uh, and then uh, check the setting of with print k, and I can find the root code because uh, like this. Good things they are not overlap the pipe three, but 
not a good case in the end point number is uh, three on the five three and five six. So root cause is a wrong setting of the hard graph register. And solution is uh, I contributed the patch to the Linux kernel community like this. Okay. The next is case study is uh, if NFS root fi file system was used on a new SOC, sometimes kind of panic happened. The SOC has a new distance controller. Uh, this is, uh, these are not but, uh, about uh, these issues. Uh, SOC has a uh, new resigned controller, and SOC has DMAC controllers. Can panic happens where uh, completely inconsistent. This means uh, randomly can panic happen when booting. But if we use, I use in, in drama FS, uh, the issue doesn't happen. So we can assume that these CPU cores are not related to that issue. And also we found a workaround which we use the system memory size is uh, one gigabyte. In this case, the issue doesn't happen. So I was uh, I made the film of hypothesis is uh, this is a related uh, new ethernet control drivers or hardware about related uh, memory size thing. However, I cannot uh, find any issues on the controller. The next is DMA controller can cause, can cause this issue or not. So uh, this hardware, this DMA hardware uh, is mounted on the old SOC, so we can assume uh, this hardware or and software uh, is stable. Uh, so to validate this hypothesis, uh, the issue can be reproduced similar issue or not. And very high low frequency, frequency but the issue can be ha happened on that uh, by, by the DMAC controller. So this is related, uh, I can, we can assume this is related to uh, system memory itself. So uh, I try to use the uh, name test on the kind of future, hacking future. And very rarely, but this also can, can detect, could detect the error. So next hypothesis is uh, how much size can we use the SOC? Uh, the SOC has two DMAC controller channels, so the physical memory region are separated like the figure. And uh, so for validate, test the system memory uh, by using the device three. And we found the higher memory area uh, called this issue. And so we found the root cause memory data was possible to be corrupt in, in specific 
specific area um, of SD memory. Solution is uh, changing SD RAM controller settings fix this issue. Okay, so next is the kernel panic. Uh, next, kernel panic happened on a USB UDC driver while storage data is transferred. Note that we can know whether the issue happened by kernel panic information. So at first, we should investigate so investigate what pointer is near. So to find the pointer, we can use dev dump of kernel to you know, the compiler. Uh, and I, I found the pointer like this. And so kernel panic happens, so we, I can assume uh, less constitution happened around the pointer. So add, to validate this issue, I add print k, but the, if I add print k, the issue didn't happen. So this, this is gated the timing issue. So in this case issue, uh, I add memory login code like this. And I found the uh, race condition. So solution is uh, this part, uh, some kind of The uh, lock, spin lock is required for this issue. Next is the uh, uh, probing device driver files. This is not related to the uh, case study, but this is, can be happened on development process. Hypothesis is uh, lacking related resources like a clock, GPIO, or a file, and so on, or missing kernel config. To validate this is use, we can use uh, syscall debug and uh, some point K with uh, like these parameters. I like this approach uh, to sim simple, for simple debug investigation. Also, we have to check kernel config for investigation. Uh, next stage, uh, performance issues. Transferring uh, performance was down. This is also not a real case, but we ha will happen in such issues. Uh, and, and hypothesis is I can make is <coughs> use kernel hacking feature. And uh, interrupt frequency high CPU load or CPU flag, or memory alignment or memory area. And caused by another device or compatibility issues. To validate these hypotheses, uh, we can check kernel config, like the kernel feed hacking feature. If we enable this kernel feature, uh, we, the system can be down the performance. 
and, and we can also check block interrupts can and uh, top command and uh, performance co path command. Also, we have to check the current CPU frequency. Uh, if frequency is uh, low, uh, as uh, expected, um, the performance will be down. Uh, also, we can we have to check memory pointer, especially physical memory area by printer K. Uh, some hardware uh, cannot direct access. Some limitation is uh, possible to have, have, have. So we have to check such uh, hardware specification or something like that. And uh, the final is uh, replace the device with another one. If this performance issue leads to the USB memory, uh, we can replace USB memory. So that is the summary. Uh, for investigation, uh, I think making a hypothesis and validate to find the root cause is an uh, important thing. Uh, to investigate the issues, uh, Linux has a lot of useful hacking features. So, uh, of, of course, you can, uh, we can add uh, code for investigation. And also, we have to run related software and hardware specs specification and standards. Okay, thank you very much uh, for attending. Thank you. <laughs> Any question? Thank you for your presentation. I have a question about uh, memtest. So I thought it took some, uh, it take some, uh, some time to run memtest. So how long did it take to run memtest for four gigabyte system in this case study? So this is it. Uh, sorry, I don't <laughs> remember <laughs> that. Basically, I'm a, um, one test case is uh, one minute or something like that. But um, in this case, a lot of uh, very rarely this uh, error detected. So. Uh, yeah, sorry. Ah, it's a, okay. <laughs> sorry. Thank, Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. Okay, so thank you very much for attending. Thank you.